Okay, guys, so for this video, we're going to be checking out, obviously, <clears throat> the brand new update. Now, I'm sure every other YouTuber read you this, but we have the Summer Crate, we have Sand Isles, new map, we're going to be playing that. Okay, I don't know who this guy is right here. Um, is he like a sand castle? What is that? Oh my god, guys, 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 what? Nah, 80,000 damage per second? Oh, you're joking. Yep, and just gonna do this and cha-ching. Yep, there we go. Um, I'm not sure if Talanthic was maybe just, uh, slamming his keyboard when he made this unit, but 80,000 damage per second? Are you kidding me? Ah, here we go right here. Summer crate. Okay, sunglasses speaker, man. 1600 DPS. Beach cameraman. 10k DPS. Wow. 30,000 DPS for the... Oh my god, wait. 29 percentage for the legendary? Wow. 0.3% chance to get a Titan Sandman. Okay. Ally health. 10,000 HP. Wait, it goes up to how much? He spawned somebody worth a million? Oh, nah. Uh, I guess summon. Here we go. Here's here, here's the first one. Summon 10. We got a bunch of legendaries. Ooh, nice. Okay. Haven't gotten the mythic yet. Haven't gotten the mythic yet. And that's all of our coins. Nice. I am now broke. Moment of truth. Uh, are you kidding me? He didn't get buffed yet? All right. Endless ranks. Let's see. Ooh. Smite. Whoa. Okay. I don't really know what the perks are. Oh, smite. Oh, you can strike them with powerful lightning once you hit rank 15. Yeah, that'll take uh, 40 years. All right, so this is going to be a decently long video. I'm not even going to lie. So we're going to be using the 80,000 DPS one to start off. Um, Let's get an announcer. And then let's get a mewing TV, man. Then let's get a camera repair drone. Let's get a Santa. Boom. Absolutely easy. Oh, summer event. I see it. I'm going to go run and go get it. Okay, we have now arrived. Sand Isles. Uh, I'll see you guys in the game. Um, what? Guys, I know this sounds crazy, but I have even better idea. We just go on Endless because the new map, I think you need four people to do it. Uh, I'm not trying to find the best strategies on how to do it. We're just going to test out this 80,000 damage per second unit. Then we're going to use the summer units. So do not leave. Uh, I will be testing out. I don't know if I should do them separately or not. I think I might do them separately. Okay, I don't really know how it's going to work because I want to take stats of them all. So I guess I, I am going to try and uh, do every single summer unit. Or no, I can make that a separate video. I mean, I think someone's probably going to do it before me, but I, I think I can make a video doing summer units against, or all summer units against endless mode. I think that would be perfect. And then I'm just going to try and use the best summer units that I have so far, like the legendary and stuff. I'm going to try and use him. And then next video, I think I'll make a video on the mythic. All right, Mewing TV Man is holding up pretty well so far. I'm trying to get all my farms to max. Because his unit does 80,000 damage. So if he is like not costing that much money, then I will be really surprised. Hello, Mr. Minigun Twilla. How are you doing? Yeah, you're getting absolutely destroyed by my mewing man. He is mewing you pretty badly. That did not really sound too good. Anyways, yeah, uh, Minigun Twilla agreed to, to the terms of service of getting killed by my units. Very great. Um, Please kill him, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we're going to place our first one real quick. See, now I think it's he's probably not as good as we think because he doesn't do aoe or do anything like that he does do 80,000 damage but he doesn't do AOE. wow his animations are actually insane okay i gotta chill out look at this guy he, he looks like an avengers with an arm cannon look at him okay i think we're gonna get our first upgrade on him boom 2,000 upgrade him again for 3,000 because why not um okay he's doing 3,500 damage every 0.2 seconds this unit is actually overpowered we're gonna get our announcer down because we did max out our santas too okay i just decrease his cooldown even more keep in mind his cooldown is going to be 0.1 at some point. That is insane. This is with only one of him on the board. Okay, he might actually need another upgrade. I am a little bit worried. Please give me money. Please give me money. Give me money. All right, boom. Another upgrade. He's now doing 8,000 damage every 0.16 seconds. He is destroying them. Oh my God. Max our camera repair drone. This guy looks insane. He now has a jetpack. He's getting, uh, he's glowing in his eyeball. Hello, sir. Nice. This unit actually looks really clean, bro. Bro, his name next upgrade minuses it by 0.1 wait oh my god there's no way that's real 0.08 cooldown and 8,000 damage look at his range the only downside is that he does
doesn't do AoE, but if you place a lot of them, dude, they, oh my god, they can't even make it out of spawn. This cannot be real. This cannot be real, right? Like, there's no way. You can place them decently close to each other as well. Like, you don't have to place it too, too far away. Uh, so I kind of did something. Yeah, I placed a bunch of them down. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the one in the front first. He's honestly not that much to upgrade. See, he was maybe like 40k. Now, is that a lot of money? Yes, but it's okay. See, we could max out three of them, and I think we built up like 50,000 or 60,000 dollars, which means he might actually be like 30k. That's like not even that much for the amount of damage that he does at a time. Look at them. They, they just get melted. Like, there is nothing they can do against that. I feel like one that has kind of a bad placement would be this one right here, or maybe this one. Yeah, he's a little too close. So I think what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna get a mewing TV man in the middle right here, which would be a really great idea. Max this guy out so we can get stuns too. You know what? We're going for high waves right now. We are going for very high waves. Like basically everyone in the middle is getting a cooldown right now. And now it is just, we just play the waiting game and build up our moolah. And then at the end, we're gonna take his stats and see how far he made it. And then after this, we're gonna use the summer units as our like starter unit. And then I'm just gonna mainly use the legendary and see how far the legendary can make it. Now the legendary is actually mad underrated, okay? He does 30,000 damage a second is what I saw. And then I think he does a bunch of other stuff, but we will get into that very soon. All right, so a little update. We have about five of them maxed out. We are working on getting the sixth one maxed out, and then we have about six more to max out after that. And then we will sell our Santas and get about three more down on the board, hopefully, which it will be a lot of money, but they do do pretty good. <laughs> do do. All right, I'm sorry. No, that was so horrible. Um, They do pretty good, but the bigger units, not really. Also, why do the mutant toilets still look like this? Oh, what? Wait, he has a shield? Oh, wow. That's actually... Oh, wow. Wow, that's actually overpowered. So, oh, wait. I forgot. Talenthric said that this unit is not even able to be stunned. I forgot about that. So, bro can't even get stunned. Um, is our camera repair drone useless? Like, I don't even know at this point. I'm gonna leave it there, but that is insane. So, bro can't even get stunned, does 80,000 damage, and cannot be stunned. You know how overpowered and insane that is? Because the hyper can sure as heck get stunned. These units cannot get stunned, and they keep shooting, too, and just put up their shield anytime they get hit. That is probably one of the most overpowered things I've ever seen in this game. Somehow, our camera repair drone is still shooting. Maybe he's healing our Santas. I really can't see. I don't really know. Hopefully, he's not healing these, these guys. I mean, maybe it's just detecting it. I don't really know. But now, we have officially seven of them maxed out on the board, and we're going to have eight very soon. But honestly, they are doing too bad. Even though it looks like they are, they're really not. I mean, they are a single hit unit. That's the only downside. If they had like 360 AoE, oh my god, it would be the best unit. Or if they had AoE in general, I feel like they should at least get splash damage. Philanthric, please at least give this unit some splash damage please a single hit unit is not going to bring us too far to be fair he is 300 robux and for 300 robux that is a pretty good price i'm not gonna lie it's the first like pay to win thing that's actually not bad i'm actually like genuinely surprised we have eight of them maxed out now so there's 80,000 damage per second going on uh a lot there's a lot of 80,000 damage per second going on right now um let's see where else this guy right here let's get a few levels on him yeah we're not doing too bad the mute TV man is definitely helping out, but to be fair, we're not really cheating. We're actually going for high waves because this is extremely fun. But the Mewing TV man obviously helps a lot. Like the stuns are amazing. See, he stunned the biggest guy right here. Look, 3 million HP. He got stunned and sat there for like five seconds. Boom. We just maxed out our last one as well, just like that. So now I think we have nine of them maxed out. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine. Oh, he did get stunned for a second. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, maybe it's only whenever they get to a higher level. Oh, crap. That's kind of bad. Maybe it's only when they're max level. Yeah, I think it's only when they're max level because these guys over here do not get stunned. These guys right here, they're level one and they get stunned. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. You just have to be really uh, rich. Yeah. Oh my God, Michael Jackson. All right, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, we just got another one maxed out. Um, Here's the thing though. This has been on auto skip the whole entire time too. So keep that in mind. Like they're making it this far 
far on auto skip, which is pretty crazy. I mean, they are taking millions of HP away a second and you know, we still have a whole nother one to max out. But this honestly is not going that bad. Like look, look at the uh, giant dual blade toilet. See, he looks very happy. No, he does not. He looks angry. Oh wow, they look very angry. Why are they so mad? <laughs> Wait, I didn't even realize that. Anyways, yeah, see, that guy's getting stunned. That's part of the problem. This is really, really bad. Oh, come on. I need a little bit more money. Keep him alive. Guys, keep him alive, please. Boom, he's maxed out now. Ah, see, they can't hit him anymore. They can't hit him. This guy is just going to be asleep. He is taking a nap right now. He is snoozing his way out of life. You can clearly tell. He's just a little bit tired. That's okay. But if we would actually be able to get money, Mr. Santa Claus, you're not really giving me my freaking Christmas presents right now, uh, we would be able to do a lot better. It seems like we are about to die. I think you need to get a better healing unit to start it off. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I can't upgrade him. Yo, let me upgrade him. Please, let me upgrade him. He can't wake up fast enough so I can upgrade him. This is so bad. Boom. All right, I maxed him out. None of them can be stunned now. This is absolutely perfect. Now the camera repair drone does not have anything to be worried about. They are all maxed out. Let's turn off auto skip for a second. Just a second. Maybe they can get rid of like, you know, all these freaking people. But the fact that they cannot be stunned you know, like the regular units right now, they would all be asleep, like, and we would just be getting killed. But we actually have a chance of victory here, okay? We just have to take 3 million HP away, which we will successfully do. Oh, wow. They are actually good. Like I said, this video is going to be a lot longer because I'm commentating a lot. I'm very, bro, I'm passionate about this. I'm not going to lie. This is fun. Definitely a high tier unit. Oh my God. This is actually like, am I having fun on Toy Tower Defense? Oh my God. Rare moment in history. Uh, I would say that, uh, oh crap. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm not having fun anymore. No, no, I'm not having fun. Oh, this game sucks. I hate this game. All right, guys. So great idea here, right? Um, did I? Okay, I'm pretty sure I just said idea. Uh, idea here, right? Okay, so I have three summer units, okay? Which are which are all the summer units, yes. But I figured out that it's a movable unit and movable units can never be, uh, they can never, wait, what, what is the word for it? They, they can never be boosted, okay? They can never be boosted. So, you know, I could start off with this guy which he does hit every 1.5 seconds, so that would be bad. And then the Beach Caramel hits every 5 seconds, which is also bad, but he does 3,000 damage. Apparently, at some point, he's going to do 30,000 damage every 3 seconds. So, I would say the Beach Ball Cameraman is actually probably worse than the Rare. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but he hits so slow. He's like a big, powerful unit, and I guess it would technically be worth it. So, I think we're going to try and let these toilets go by, get 2 wave skips, and try and get the movable unit down. Actually, we should be able to do this in time. I'm, I'm actually very stupid. We should be able to do this in time, correct? I think we should. I'll be able to place him right here. to be perfect. But here's the cool thing about movable units too, guys. They cannot be stunned. And boom, we just placed our front. Whoa! Oh my god! What the heck is that? Um, uh, hello? I don't, I'm, I'm speechless. He's moving on a wave. Okay, d d does he hit them with this wave? He's not AOE. Okay, I think, you, do you see the little red, red line right there guys look look okay i'm pretty sure y'all just saw that look there's a little red line i think he hits them with that okay what well, let's just look he has explosion radius which means he does splash damage and it doesn't say that he has a far walk range of walk speed okay yeah he has like a blast range so i think he does splash damage but he's gonna end up doing thirty thousand damage per second which is pretty good like that's not bad like literally at all um he's actually a decent starter unit we could probably keep him down for like just a minute but i really want to see what he's capable of whenever I upgrade him, but I want to see, like, you can place them pretty close to each other, too, I think. Like, here, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see if I can place one right here. Look, the, the other guy's right there. See, you can't place him now, but whenever he walks away, I should be able to place him. That's actually such a good idea. Oh, my God. I think we're, I think we're gonna try and upgrade him first, though, but I don't even think that we need the camera repair drone, which means that I can actually keep my promise. I'm going to be trying out the epic unit, too, and he's gonna be doing, he does big damage, but it's, like, every three seconds. So, he'll do, th do 30,000 damage every three seconds which isn't like horrible but he's kind of bad he uh, he has a little glow on him he looks pretty nice not that bad honestly i'm not gonna lie though the surfer unit is by far the coolest looking one i've seen i promise it's the coolest looking one and i have not seen a unit who can solo the large glasses boss for the first time so yeah he just like sits on them until they die like he just sits there look see he stops moving until they die so if you were oh i see oh i see sorry i'm like yapping right now it's just how excited I am. But if you look on the red circle, whoever is in that red circle gets hit. So like if there's another unit by the unit in front of them, like
like these two right here if he wants to go hit them watch he's 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 about to give it like three seconds look he goes up to go hit them and if they are in the red circle they get hit which is their uh you know splash range truthfully i've never seen a unit who can go this long without being upgraded dude he can't be stunned and he can't be upgraded sure but dude look at the starting unit potential here i have not had to upgrade him one time and my santas are almost maxed out and he's still killing them okay i think i'm about to upgrade him right here we'll upgrade him for 1700 because the minigun tool that got by just a little bit oh my god is his board red now oh you've got to be kidding Bro what look at his board oh my god he's actually the coolest looking thing i've ever seen in my life i really want to upgrade my santas before we auto skip please kill them just a tad bit faster all right boom i got my santa leveled up and then i leveled up the another one right there so now we have maxed out santa so now it is time to absolutely max this guy out he now has a red board though like i said he looks absolutely insane i don't really like how the wave pops up as he's traveling i guess it's cool but i'm not gonna lie it's kind of in the way i feel like he should just travel on the little regular wave that happens whenever he's hitting them he should travel on the little regular wave the whole entire time so it's not in the way but i guess you can kind of see him you just have to be on the right side anyways let's get another upgrade on him just like that he now has a blue board i kind of like the red one better not gonna lie but hey, hey 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 it still looks good let's get another upgrade on him he's now maxed out dude his board has rockets on it you see that he's rocket boosting on the water to go get them wow bro's in a tsunami okay but yeah he is mad overpowered so look at his range so whoever is in that red circle gets hit like i said earlier and his red circle is very huge and his walk range is very big as well we can place another one right by it and then we're gonna upgrade him so hopefully the other one will start walking over there and then once they all walk over there i'll be able to place them literally right by each other because look that guy's maxed out then they're gonna both walk over there at some point and then i can sneak place one like right behind them boom see oh so smart all right so i'm back i now have four of them maxed out they honestly not a single one has made it out of, out of the spawn i promise you not a single one has made it out so i feel like a great thing to do since his range is so far i'm gonna place one right here and i'm gonna turn around i'm gonna place crap i'm gonna place another one like right by it and then i'm trying to place another one right there too here i'll just max out the one right here so then he can go a lot farther like we're talking going to the spawn farther then we'll upgrade that one too sneak place that one upgrade that one as well sneak place that one too look i'm just sneaking these guys in like look they are all bunched up together right here but the perfect thing about this is that their range is so far they will all be able to hit over this whole entire thing because what his walk range is 60 so that's like plenty all right so we officially have i think 14 surfers maxed out and then we placed a rare right here just to see him he looks pretty nice he has his cool sunglasses on whenever he becomes max and this is our beach ball guy right here we upgrade him and his beach ball turns into another beach ball and then it turned into a bowling ball for a second too it looked like um yeah he does 30,000 damage every three seconds so that's also what i saved at this spot for camera repair drone i saved it for this so you know we can obviously deal with stuns to help these guys out but yeah look his range is pretty good he'll do 30,000 damage every three seconds whenever someone steps into it this guy is just like on the side it's just so we can look at all the summer units and honestly they're pretty freaking cool looking like they're holding up pretty good keep in mind that's only with like 14 of them on the board or no that's with 12 of them oh yeah, yeah yeah only 12 of them are maxed out on the board right now so i think we're i think we're gonna try and go get a few more in this moment right now uh we're gonna place one like where like i, I think right here should be good too right i think so whoa what is that guy doing that guys falling around everywhere yeah when we can place another one right there which is good we can max him out and place another one right come on somewhere around here right somewhere i guess that could work yep that works too all right boom now we have 15 of them maxed out we also have a beach ball guy and then we also have the rare and then you know the camera repair drone so yeah this is a full-on summer setup right now this looks amazing all right let's get a little you know <laughs> i'll just let the one guy say it for me Untied. So as you guys can see right here, we are kind of dying. I don't know. Can can anybody reach? Oh, here he comes. They're coming in hot. Are they going to clean it up? Are they going to clean it up? Oh, they barely missed him. He might not kill us. Hey, bro. Listen, please don't kill us. Okay. And he killed us. Okay, guys. So I really didn't enjoy making this video. Honestly, these new units are actually overpowered. Like we made it, I think, to almost wave 60. I don't know. I'll, I'll go back and take stats, of course, with just the summer units, right? And with the one guy, we should have made it farther 
if he has splash damage, that would be great, but still. Uh, the engineer rework is not out yet. I'm sure it'll be out soon, but anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think of the update down below, because I'm gonna do like a 1 to 10 kind of thing. Honestly, I think it was a good, like, maybe 8.5 out of 10. The only bad part was obviously the pay-to-win part, but honestly, it is a little bit less than usual. You know, you can make it to wave 60 by paying 300 Robux. That's not, like, too terribly bad. Um, and the new units are honestly pretty easy to get, like, especially the legendary and stuff. You don't need that many coins. Uh, the mythic is obviously hard to get, but honestly, W update, bro. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys, and goodbye.